Sideshow enlists a new clone trooper into its 1-6 scale ranks, while you may have to wait a little longer for the new Gears of War 3 figures, and new updates for some classic G.I. Joe figures. This is Articulation Times. Welcome to Articulation Times, your source for action figure news. I'm John Airy, and here are your top headlines for the week of October 17th. The Jedi trooper who killed the Jedi Master, Kia D. Mundi, gets immortalized by Sideshow Collectibles with this new 1-6 scale figure. This new commander, Bakara, features an armored body with over 30 points of articulation, a detailed fabric bodysuit, a Phase 2 open face helmet, a fabric command skirt, six pairs of interchangeable hands, two pairs of swappable boots, a long-range blaster rifle, a DC-15S blaster carbine, two Blastec DC-17 pistols, and a figure stand. The Sideshow exclusive version also comes with a 21st Nova Corps Galactic Marines base for an alternate display. The trooper, also known as CC-1138, will cost you $134.99 when he arrives in the second quarter of 2012. NECA has posted the following message on their blog. Quote, After a short delay, we are happy to announce that the Gears 3 figures are now shipping from our factories and should arrive at retailers around mid-November. The first assortment includes Marcus, Carmine, and Anya, all featuring brand new sculpts and over 30 points of articulation in each figure. Unquote. It sounds like Series 2 will follow shortly after Series 1 makes it to retail. Big Bad Toy Store has two new 3 and 3 quarter inch G.I. Joe sets up for pre-order, featuring new designs of some classic characters. The Slaughter's Marauders set features Spirit, Red Dog, Mercer, Falcon, Lowlight, Barbecue, and Taurus. The new Dreadnought set includes Road Pig, Xandar, Nagahide, Burnout, Zanya, Zanzibar, and Thrasher. Each set costs $49.99 and will arrive in late December. Here's the new Marvel Select figure based on the upcoming film, The Amazing Spider-Man. It will feature 16 points of articulation and will be available at specialty stores and comic shops in the spring. And finally, Square Enix will produce two new action figures based on the game Batman Arkham Asylum. Both Batman and the Joker come with interchangeable hands, their trademark weapons, and feature 26 points of articulation. They will arrive in February for around 50 bucks a piece. That's it this week for Articulation Times, your source for action figure news. Be sure to check in on the website, articulationtimes.com. That's where we post the latest news and reviews. Also, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. For Articulation Times, I'm John Airy. Keep collecting.